That is despicable! Hat Picks. Hello friends, Steve Dangle here, and welcome to another edition of Steve's Hat Picks, where we take a look at the best from around the NHL over the past week. Let's not waste any time. The first hat pick this week, have you heard that the New Jersey Devils are doing well? Well, it depends who you ask. Mostly it depends if you ask Keith Yandel. I'm kidding, Keith! With how well the Devils have been doing and how good this player is, I can't believe that this is actually Jack Hughes's first career hat trick. Wanted a good plus minus. Jack Hughes intercepts the pass. Hughes indeed tries to stick it around and he scores! A beauty from Jack Hughes! Jersey Lottery, remember, anything can happen in Jersey. Capitals with a real careless giveaway in their own zone. And watch Jack Hughes head up all the way. You see that bank. The Capitals were opportunistic. Devils have made their chances count here. Shots are dead even, 14 apiece. Here's Hughes playing with all kinds of confidence. He roofs it in! My goodness! Off the right shoulder of Lindgren and the right post. And the helmet. It's all coming together for this group. And again, that's how you string together 14 wins in 15 and in position possibly for a 15th win in their last 16. Hall of the block. It turns into a two-on-one with Hughes. He glides across. And Jack Hughes has a hat trick. Oh, you love to see it. Here they come from the rafters. Jack Hughes with his third of the game. And the Devils lead 4-0. And Jack Hughes has shown as bright as a supernova tonight. Uh, you see the nice pass right on the tape as the Devils. Such a good player, such a bright future. Which one of those hat trick goals was your favorite hat pick? Me, I got number one. Leave a comment in the comment box down below. But Jack, that's a hat pick. For the next few hat picks, we're gonna be hanging out in three on three overtime and you get some pretty amazing plays there. Come for the Claude Giroux goal, stay for the Tim Stutzla backhand pass. Shabbat draws back behind his net. Heavy pressure from Kempe. Kopitar, can he track it down? No. Stutzla shovels it up ahead. Giroux on a breakaway. Scores! Just 20 seconds into overtime, and the Kings overcommit in the attacking zone, leading to the Claude Giroux breakaway. And the overtime goal, Ottawa wins it, 3-2. to two. Look at the Kings. Drew Doughty was kind of looking and hoping. And then you have to credit right there. I mean, Drew was really good on the finish, right? Watch this. Watch how many moves he makes. Okay, one right there fake, two right there, and then back. So third one, he makes the move. And you can see just at the end, but unfortunately, Drew Doughty was looking for something that wasn't there up the ice. And he turns his back on the play. And when he did that, that gave the opportunity for the centers to make the long, long, long. It wasn't a hard pass. That is despicable. Dude, the Ottawa Senators haven't exactly had the best season so far. But with the addition of talent that they had in the offseason and just the way some guys are heating up, Stutzla especially, I just have a really hard time writing them off. Not to mention Claude Giroux. That dude has a ridiculous ridiculous moves per capita if that makes sense like it doesn't matter how many points he puts up you can guarantee that at least a quarter of them are going to be some of the most ridiculous things you've ever seen he's got fancy hands that's a hat pick not to be outdone in overtime here's jordan cairo doing it all by himself the uh, panthers unable to get a shot after possession time for most of the opening minute los Torino is now out there for Hagee, and here comes Kairou. He gets a step. Kairou, the backhand score. And the Blues come all the way back and win it in overtime, 5-4. to four. Here's from behind the net. And all of a sudden, Kairou takes off and takes that long pass and then goes to the backhand for the game winner in overtime. What a turn of events. The Panthers... Had this game in full control with a 4-1 lead. Listen, I'm not an NHL coach, but I, I don't think you should be giving up a, a breakaway to anybody. But Jordan Cairo, that's a uh, that's that's a tough one. Real breakout season last year for Cairo. It hasn't quite been at the same level this year, but you never know when he's ready to break out. That's a hat pick. Our next couple hat picks feature players doing ridiculous things while lying down. Which, as a lazy person, this makes them my hero. Let's start with Michael Bunting. 
All up for Nylander, and now Malkin comes in. Malkin played it across for Rust, covered on the play, and Michael Bunting starts back. Fighting off the check of Malkin, swinging wide. And then Bunting falls down, centers in front. Matthews scores, and the Leafs have the three-goal lead back on a terrific play by Michael Bunting. But this starts right at the inside the line. Watch, he's fighting off Malkin, keeps it to the outside, keeps his legs moving. Now the stop up and in desperation just chips it by. Good catch and release there from Matthews. And tell me that didn't feel good for Matthews as he tries to continue and get right back on track. Just a perfect effort, a one against three. Keeps it alive and no chance at all. Stick side. You see, when you're able to pull off ridiculous stuff like that, other things happen. You know when you go one on three with the Pittsburgh Penguins and the puck is in front of you but you're lying down on the ice? Generally, people think they can take the puck off you when you're in that position, which means they forget about all the other stuff going on. You know, like Austin Matthews hanging out in front of their net. Bunting gets the pass through again while lying down, which leads to Casey DeSmith seeing something in real life that most goalies hope to only see in their nightmares. Austin Matthews wide open in front. Nice goal, nicer setup, that's a hat pick. For our next hat pick, the Washington Capitals, they've had a bit of a come see, come saw season. Definitely the best part of their season so far though, those reverse retros are so good. So many memories of Ovechkin as a rookie. Like, you know, that time he was rolling around and like hooked the puck behind his head from the ice and in. Well, paying homage to that, Evgeny Kuznetsov also scores a goal while down on the ice. Kuznetsov retreats back into his own zone with a bank pass. Up to Oshie, going the wrong way, but Kuznetsov follows up. On the puck, cuts through, can't pull the pick, scores! He did get the shot away as he was falling down and it makes it 2 one in Washington. Time with 3.23 to go in the second. Well, let's look at this. Right through the middle and just taps it at the last second between the legs of Markstrom. Wow. As he just splits the D. And then swoop. Yeah, the cover band's never quite as good as the original, but that's still pretty good of Guinea. That's a hat pick. For our next hat pick, I was wondering this question. What player can you compare Tage Thompson to? Not stylistically, not that he's one of the tallest players in the league, but also has some of the nastiest hands. Like, I'm talking about career trajectory. We're talking about a first round pick who did little to nothing. Like, not even being mean or unfair. He did little to nothing for years. And partway through last season, he's like, all right, I'm elite now. Signs this ridiculous contract and everyone's like, are you sure you want to sign him to that ridiculous contract? Not even December and the thing looks like a discount because of moves like this. Thompson trying to get the right position on that one to make a play on it. Thompson with the giveaway. Here's a chance in front. Oh, what a goal by Tate Thompson! TNT blows it up! Down low in the Tampa zone and the Sabres are on the board. Tate stops and down low here. He's going to get the puck. Look at that little spinorama move right there. And his length with his reach gets his puck so far out front that Elliott just, he thinks he's out there in the right spot, but Tate Thompson can get that puck so far away from him, and he pulls it, he gets him down, and then he's got the whereabouts to pull it back in, get it to the crease, and then tap it in. That's a beautiful goal for the big man right there. What kind of NHL creative player nonsense is that, Tage? Ridiculous, stupendous, preposterous. That's a hat pick. Now, goalies take a beatings sometimes in these hat picks video. They, they take an even worse beatings in the dang it's videos, but for most of the rest of the way, we're gonna be honoring them because they've done some pretty incredible things. Like for example, Dan Vladar in Calgary. Comes free, Burry takes a look, he'll bank it back to the point. Pesci with a shot, the foot, the pass it, rebound, stopped by Vladar, third save by Vladar. And another shot goes wide, flipped all the way back to the line, stays onside, somehow that puck didn't go on the net. That chance kicked away and the rebound will come all the way outside the zone. Line watch this, one, two, three. Amazing. Four. I've watched this flurry of saves a handful of times and it reminded me of something. I, I couldn't put my finger on it. And I think I got it. 
You ever seen the mask with Jim Carrey when he's dodging all the bullets? It looks like that, except he's not dodging bullets, he's standing in front of pucks. If you're on the attacking team, how don't you just scream out, COME ON! Pretty good. That's a hat pick. For our next hat pick, uh, you shouldn't be surprised, he's one of the best goaltenders in the NHL this season. Connor Hellebuck, no quit. Stops and gets it back. Suter is able to pick it up from between his skates. Room for Marchman to walk in. His pass. There's a shot. Hit the post. Loose in front. Hellebuck is down. And the whistle yet is Gustafson shoots it down the ice. And the Jets are able to hang on there. And it's right there, side to side. Lots of open ice. And you pull the penalty kill to one side. They pull him to the other. And then you open up the weak side. And how about that? As it's just full tilt blitz in front of Connor Hellebuck. Off the post. And wow! The heel of the stick from Hellebuck. Miraculous save. The post. And then... Oh, 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 unbelievable. I don't know whose reaction's better, the fans or Tyler Seggins. Now Seggins had a really hot start to the season. He wasn't really able to maintain it, but it's okay because Rope Hintz and Jason Robertson are Dallas stars. Well, why does it feel like he gets robbed the most per capita in the entire NHL? Like year in, year out, no one makes me want to get a physics degree more than Tyler Seggins just to figure out how those things, how doesn't that end up in the net? Incredible save from Hellebuck. That's a hat pick. Dallas Stars can do that too, though. They have Jake Ottinger as their starter. Have you heard of him? But their backup's no slouch either. Scott Wedgwood, look at this. Blues threatening with numbers. Right side, Buchnevich feeds the trailer, gets it back. What a save! Oh my goodness! Kept alive, Tarasenko's bid got blocked. Wedgwood with the arm, how in the world? That's ready to go. Pinched by the Stars, they get chasing back to their own net. The change of direction by the St. Louis Blues on the way in, and a ludicrous glove save by Wedgwood on Bushnevich, one of their hottest goal scorers. He did not bite really, really hard on the initial play in the middle. And this is why they say goalies are voodoo. No one taught Scott Wedgwood how to do that. I've never seen a goalie drill where they're flopping around like a fish, but yet, that seems to be at least half the job. The other half is taking away the hopes and dreams of your opponent, and that's what Wedgwood did here. What a save, what a hat pick. For our next hat pick, hey, you know who's a top 10 team in the league? The Seattle Kraken. Hey, you know who's helped them improve their goaltending? Free agent signing Martin Jones. These are both things you all predicted before the season. All of you, yeah, all of, I see it, I see ya. The Kraken are so disrespected, it's like people don't believe it. How is Martin Jones still on the waiver wire in fantasy? <laughs> Look at this pad stack save. Carlson holding onto it, here's Mechna, all the way across the show, what a save! My goodness, what a stop by Martin Jones! Spectacular play, he goes old school here with a windmill stop, a beauty. A Matt Nieto, the Kraken. Preposterous. It's not like the Kraken have been getting Vesna level goaltending this season, but they've been getting better goaltending, and sometimes that's all you need is better. Well, I'm going to ask you to ignore what the score of the game was when he made that save. All you need to pay attention to is the fact that the Kraken had more goals. Mr. Martin Jones, that's a hat pick. Philip Gustafson, I've liked this goalie for a few years now. Check it out. Shifley after it. Boldy gets there first, played it in front. Pionk took it away though, and then Greenway and Pionk collide. Now back up the ice comes Wheeler with it. Pass across for Fetty O, and it's stopped by Gustafson. Again, I ask you, who told you to do that? That's not training, that's just vibes. That's just instinct. He doesn't see the way that we see. You ever seen Predator? He just stares out into the ice surface like with thermal eyes basically and pucks light up and that's how he finds them. And make ridiculous saves like that. That's a wild save and that's a hat pick. Our second last hat pick, ooh, our penultimate hat pick. There's a term I've never understood. William Carlson. It's amazing that it's 2022 and people still talk about William Carlson like he's a one-hit wonder because his best season was in 2017, half a decade ago. What do you think he's been doing in the league for the last half decade? Still been putting up goals and here's why. Petrangelo. Out the feed. Carlson. A half turn. A backhand score! <laughs> 
move on the pass. Petrangelo, this is waist high. He knocks it down. Watch the spin, and this is a backhand rocket by William Carlson to the top corner. Knocks it down, no problem. Then the little spin gets away from coverage, and wow. What a backhand shot by Carlson, right up under the bar. Top corner on the glove side of Talbot to make it a 3-1 game. He ends his... You shouldn't be able to stop and break someone's ankles that ridiculously, and you shouldn't be able to backhand it like that. You shouldn't! How's the goalie supposed to prepare for that? How do you figure out where that's even going? Outrageously good backhander. That's a hat pick. Now, for our last hat pick, sometimes... I haven't seen a play. I usually have seen it or I do a little bit of research before we do these videos. But sometimes producer Nick puts a description of a play that I haven't seen that makes me go, all right, I'm watching this for the first time on camera. Today's description is, Cal Peterson goes yeet. It's, it's Y about 10 E's and T, yeet. And comes from out of nowhere for the save. And amazing replay. I want to see this. Moore kept alive for New York. Kako around the net. Peterson out of position. Kako drifting the middle. What? And that's no way. Going. Peterson sprawling across. One goal game in the third, the too. Get out of here. Net. Somebody got a piece of it and kept it out. Oh, shut up and show me the replay. Oppo Kako. That's enough. Pivots. Fiala. They don't score at the end of this, do they? Kepe into the zone. Drops no. for Fiala. He gets tripped up. Fiala. Kopitar. Back to the point. Walk oh, they do! Get out of here! Wow! They tied the game? That's ridiculous. All right, let me see that replay. That's ridiculous. He stopped that thing with his head! He, no, okay, it looked like he stopped it with his head. He stopped it with, like, the tippy tip of his glove. Oh, and then the block! Who would ever choose to be a goalie? That's, that is outrageous, Callum Peterson. It's Callum. It's his first name, the full thing is Callum. It's like William, but Cal. I don't, I don't know. I don't know, I don't, I've run out of things to say. That's, you know what? I watch a lot of hockey, man. It's difficult to get me to react like that. That was dumb unreal take a bow i i think that is gonna be in the conversation for hat picks of the year at the end of the season that was ridiculous what a hat pick Woo! so that is it for this one thank you very much for watching what a note to end on <laughs> click like if you like this video click subscribe if you really liked it tell all your friends if you're a goalie well attend the goal but also no style just vibes